your question is very interesting what is the difference between mind and jivatma and who attains the samadhi mind or jivatma of course there's a simple answer but we must understand the philosophy behind it and it's a quite a deep question i will try to explain to you shortly yoga sutra says yoga chitta vritti nirodha the stage in which the chitta vritti is stopped completely is called as yoga actually it is not yoga it is yoga yoga is the stoppage of chitta vritti that stage is called as yoga or samadhi we can say now we have to understand whose chitta vritti stoppage stoppage of chitta vritti means whose chitta vritti and chitta vritti is what chitta vritti we can try to understand in english we can say chitta vritti is the thoughts of the mind or chitta vritti is the uh, let's say the movement of the mind into the worldly articles pramana viparya vikalpa nidra smriti chitta even sleep is a chitta vritti says patanjali muni and my acharya also confirms that even memory is the like we think about the past incidents of our life because it is in, it is uh, the past incidents are there in our chitta as a memory so the chit always thinks retrieves that old memories which are unsatisfied or somebody has uh, you know given dhoka to us somebody has uh, done something to us so we always try to remember it again and again or there could be some happy moments we want to remember again and again all these are chitta vrittis the movement of the mind towards external objects creates chitta vritti or the disturbances in the in the mind so complete stoppage of these disturbances in the mind is called as yog but whose mind it is your mind it is our mind means it is each individual's mind we are jivatma and we have been provided with the mind for this is first thing second thing is we must understand mind is an instrument mind is an instrument for thinking manan karna we say okay my acharya says you must understand you must do manana chinta you must chintan manan karna you must, when you listen vedas or when you listen any knowledge from acharya do chin do chintan manan chintan manan is possible only when we have mind so mind is an instrument provided by almighty god for our own benefit but mind also has another quality because it is made from prakriti it has rajaguna tamaguna sataguna so we utilize our mind mostly towards sensual pleasures and mind also collects information from the world and pass it on to jivatma so jivatma utilizes mind to uh, you know indulge in the sensual pleasures forgetting that we can utilize our mind to do manan chintan we can utilize our mind to control ourselves control our mind mind can be utilized to control itself because mind is a very great instrument for example there is a uh, you know instrument in your room like a table fan you are feeling suffocated you are feeling hot you switch on the table fan the table fan will try to focus the air in in front of you it will blow the air so you will get coolness peace this table fan is like mind i'm just telling it's an instrument you can utilize it for you know your benefit or you can utilize it for your spoiling also so chitta vritti nirodha the chitta vritti stoppage of chitta vritti is called as samadhi but whose chitta vritti it is mind's chitta vritti but can mind can an instrument act on its own you have to switch on the fan so the fan will not automatically get switched on so you have to the 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 chitta vritti is from the mind but it is due to jivatma's presence it is jivatma's mind it is jivatma's body we say i am this is my body this is my hand this is my leg this is so we we know that i am separate and my body is separate we know it at least at least we realize it okay when i raise my hand i am raising my hand i am not raising myself so similarly when i think i am thinking through the mind so mind is always separate and i am always separate and that's what you know kapil muni says in sankhya sutra asangoyam purusha hiti you are jivatma you are always asang you are always unattached even you are unattached with your mind you are even unattached with your thoughts but because of avidya you think that this is your thought it is your mind it is your wife it is your body it is your property 
you attach yourself because of avidya so the process of removing avidya and stoppage of chitta vritti will lead to samadhi but who's samadhi what is samadhi samadhi the definition is tada darashtu hu swarupe avasthanam says yoga sutra when the chitta vritti of the mind completely stops when the jivatma understands that mind has to be stopped completely by yoga sadhana by ashtanga yoga tapasya by reasoning vedas by serving acharya when you when you completely stop the movement of the mind tada darashtu hu swarupe avasthanam jivatma drashtu means jivatma that point of time jivatma swarupe avasthanam it will become stith in its own swarupa it will become it will understand that it is jivatma that is its it will be fixed on its own swarup its own swarup is what its own swarup is anand bliss it's eternal it is asang jivatma will understand that i am always unattached but because of avidya i am attached to my mind and the world so this stoppage of chitta vritti is called as yog whose yog jivatma's yog jivatma has attained samadhi mind cannot understand anything can mind understand the difference between jad and chetan no through the mind jivatma can understand difference between jad and chetan can mind understand is it a good thought or bad thought no through the mind jivatma understands this is good thought which is coming in my mind this is bad thought which is coming in my mind see the thought is coming who is witnessing the thought it's jivatma who is knowing and analyzing the thought it is jivatma through the help of the mind it's a very complex instrument but do not think mind as like you know i just gave an example of the fan but it's a very complex instrument mind can be utilized for controlling the mind but the power is with jivatma that's why you know god says matter always says mind there is mind and there is intellect and when you do uh, mind is under the control of intellect and intellect is under the control of you intellect means buddhi man buddhi and jivatma jivatma's most closest is intellect intellect is connected to mind mind is connected to the senses senses is connected to the external world and the body so through the body the information is collected by all the our senses and passed on to mind and mind again passes on it to intellect or the buddhi and when you have shuddh buddhi shuddh buddhi will order shuddh shubh karma when you have ashuddh buddhi it will do ashubh karma so the control is it with the jivatma but it is up to the jivatma to do sadhana to make the mind and intellect pure so this we must understand but the samadhi benefit of samadhi is realized by the jivatma not by the mind please understand for example you are walking on a road the thorn pricks on your leg who is suffering the pain the pain is not suffered by your leg the pain is suffered by you yourself through the leg leg is just an instrument leg is non alive matter similarly mind is non alive matter leg is used to walk leg can be used for running leg can be used for asan also leg can be used to do you know when you sit in a posture and then you can do pranayama but this up to you you can run you can walk you can do any ashub karma with your legs and you can do shub karma also with your legs this is completely in the hand of jivatma but when jivatma is fully externally focused towards the world jivatma forgets that you know uh, jivatma forgets is swarupe avasthanam it will forget that i am jivatma so it will act as if it is mind it will it will act as if it is the intellect so intellect says that no 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 there is no need for you know name japa and all the mind will say let's you know you it's only 4 o'clock you can sleep another 2 hours time get up at 6 o'clock you have to go to office at 8 o'clock Yeah, the mind will quickly at four o'clock alarm rings. You sleep every day. The mind and intellect immediately decides at four o'clock when the alarm rings. The mind and intellect will say, "The mind will say, let's sleep more." Uh, mind will say to buddhi, buddhi, uh, it will say to buddhi, you convince jivatma that let's sleep. Then the intellect will say, "Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I think uh, six o'clock we get up and eight o'clock is the office. One hour I can get ready myself and then I have breakfast and I can go." so the intellect decides and intellect convinces the jivatma let's let's give you happiness two more other sensual pleasure jivatma is not a sadhak so jivatma says okay 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 let me sleep so it will sleep see understand it's a very very 
subtle process but this is what happens in reality because this jivatma is not practiced it does not engage in abhyasa but who enjoys the benefit just like the pain of the prick of the thorn is realized by jivatma similarly any result of yoga sadhana is realized by jivatma jivatma understands the samadhi is given awarded to jivatma almighty god is realized by the jivatma not by the mind mind is a non alive matter that's why my acharya says for a samadhist yogi he is beyond this mind and intellect in the worldly mind and intellect he gets alokic mind and intellect which is provided by almighty god in samadhi so this there are further more secrets in this but these two yoga sutras are extremely powerful and very subtle swarupya avasthanam the jivatma gets you know fixed firm in its own swarupa so this say stage is called as samadhi but mind cannot do mind is an instrument you can use the instrument to your benefit you can use the instrument to your destruction also thank you so much